in this video my husband shocked me remember the first time we started dating in one of our videos gabriel was videoing me anytime he sees me eating bone he will be looking strange like oh why are you eating the bone are you hungry i said i'm not hungry but the bone is the sweetest part in this video watch as i cook this my correct a goosey soup and watch as gabriel ate and started licking his hand i couldn't believe what i saw in this video but you why were you licking your hand like that because i love a goosey and how you're cooking ah so a goosey that your favorite ah a goosey is your favorite it's one of my favorites which one is your main favorite it can be obono and you like all this assorted you know what they call all this food this uh, meat they call it um traffic uh, like tra traffic you know when you are at roundabout and there is traffic light yes traffic light that you have to wait yes so that's what all this meat is called it's called traffic because anytime you take one you have one bowl of gary and the fish you know when you have just the bowl of gary and soup it you, you swallow it quickly and start again right but yes. when you have like when you eat and you have any one of the traffic or your gary you swallow gary and you still have time to wait and chew the meat before you continue again so it's called traffic so i like the way you were enjoying it you were dancing you were and the way you were even eating at, at some point <laughs> all your lips so tell me tell us about the soup and your experience let's hear your own part of the story the soup is delicious it's full of yellow and it's nice uh, seasoned and little bit spicy as usual but it's nice i love it so what did you like about the soup the you meat know? the meat and the yellow stuff the egusi the egusi the seeds like you know that this egusi there is a way you can cook on egusi like the melon you can blend the melon and there's a way you can eat it like like cake melon cake i don't know how it's called it will look like moi moi but it's not moi moi but it's only made with melon i don't know viewers if you've watched that but how come you started eating stock fish bone and uh, meat bone tell me that's the one i'm interested in because the first time you knew me you were telling me oh don't eat the bone because if i take you to my parents or if i take you to romania they will be telling me they'll be looking like you're hungry why are you eating bone so you that was always telling me don't eat the bone don't eat the bone tell us now why are you eating the bone i'm not eating the bone i'm just enjoying it and drag the entire is that not the bone in the your bone. mouth yes it's my the bone but i have still meat remain over there so i clean it <laughs> so you clean it you are now a cleaner eh Yes. bone cleaner or okay, bone cleaner well done no but that was the same thing i used to do now it's not like i eat the actual bone i eat the meat of the bone but you are eating the bones from the fish yeah bone fish hey. bone is 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 soft like when you fry fish the bone is soft so you can chew the, the fish of the is like biscuits it's like cracker biscuits that's the way fish bone so how come you were not and dancing the, like this? Uh, yeah go the, on how it's called the nate gusi stockfish no 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 like the bread the gari gari so that uh, that uh, what were you <laughs> th that sort of taste from gari it's mm. combining with uh, perfect with a gusi like gari being little bit sour it's combined perfect with a gusi so you really like this nigerian soup right yes if it's not pepperish there was no pepper was that pepper it was not pepper that's why i'm eating like that so how come you were now enjoying the talking you were even licking your hand and there's something i still need to teach you you know i'm teaching you a lot of things that you're learning and you're teaching me a lot of things that i'm learning as well one thing i need to teach you is how to eat the gari you know the gari you don't just cut it anyhow scattered you need to make it round first then use it to take the soup like you need to coordinate see the way you were cutting the gary scattered like yeah. and sometimes you eat the gary alone no they don't eat it like that use it to do the soup i were enjoying asake 
and i also i also need to teach you how to eat it well like you ate and all your lips was a goosey it's like your nose your ears your eyes everything was eating a goosey with you so that's not how to eat it you enjoyed it i like that i cooked something and you enjoyed it and it's not even your cultural food but you still enjoyed it which is appreciated so tell, tell us tell the viewers your opinion my opinion about this food it's it's very nice very delicious it's well cooked well seasoned and if that one who is cooking friends or who else they are not adding too much pepper i can eat very easily but like this like it's maximum four pepper added and with the seasoning is perfect i can enjoy and eat with a lot of taste that's why i can stop uh, eating a goosey and try new things from african culture which for me are new for you as well there are things which are uh, new for you from my culture and yeah what can i say it's a mixture of food and new things for both of us what was your experience like the first day you started having um a goosey soup or bono soup or crow or what, how what was your experience tell us how you felt when i see that uh, yellow color and that mixture over there i was not i did not really know how to eat so i was thinking straight away for the bread me eating bread yeah i used to eat a goosey and bread that time oh. i can eat with uh obono a swell bread i can eat with every food i think bread doesn't uh matter if it's uh, uh, from my culture or your culture, but what it's most like I will try in the future to eat with samolina egusi, as I appreciate more samolina than uh, gari. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, it's more soft and it's more delicious than gari. Gari is just a uh, some crumbed bread with lemon <laughs> yeah, it's a sore thing hmm. that's really good that means you always you also enjoy pandan yam if i do pandan yam for you or if i do akbu you know what akbu is fufu it's made from cassava it's very very delicious you like it fufu well fufu is like perfume if you eat it everybody you know you eat fufu so one day i'll do fufu for you it's perfume but it's we eat perfume we eat perfume yeah it's accord aku